to the Fern Foundation Martial Arts Show with your hosts, Mrs. Williams and Mrs. Stewart. Hi hey guys. So little leaders, are you ready for your class? Are you ready? Because now we are in our Tracing Three week one. It's hard to believe, right? Hard. hard to believe. So date-wise, this would be April the 27th through May the 2nd. So we're finishing out April. We are. So, wow. Awesome. So we have some fun stuff for this class. Absolutely. So two warm-ups, two life skills, and a new technique. That's right, and it's a kick today. Ooh, a kick. Yay! Right? But we should start out with what? What should we start our class? How should we start our class? We always start our class, start our class with formalities. Ah, uh, yes. Yes, we need to make sure that we stay structured um, even while we're away. So everybody come to attention! Yes, ma'am! Ooh, that was nice and loud. I heard it. Great job! And bow. All right, so Mrs. Stewart and I are going to turn towards the flag. So ready, turn. All right, make sure you put your hand on your heart. All right, ready? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Come to attention. Yes, ma'am. Bow and show respect. All right, we're going to turn back for the students. Ready, turn. Come to attention. Yes, ma'am. Ooh, super intense. And bow. And then what? Now we do our that's right. That's right, our little leaders. Oh, so how many know it? Quite a few. A bunch. A wow. lot of green stars. A lot of green stars. We have given. That's right, you guys have given out a lot of green stars. So excellent job. So could you teach us the little leaders oath this week? I wonder if they could teach us. I said yes. All right. All right, excellent. So what do we do first? Attention. Yes, sirs and yes, ma'am. Sir, yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. oh, our hand. Mm -hmm. We put it where? Oh, right up there. Okay. So what do we say? Did you get that? I did. Okay. So ready? I, I will, will respect, respect my parents. parents. Okay. Arm down. All right. What's next? Shoulder. Okay. I swing it across. Thank you. Ah, yes, yes, yes. That's right. Wear, Wear my safety, safety belt. And put our arm down. Got it. We're going to hold a pizza. Oh, that's right. We need to hold our pizza. Thank you. I thought you were getting me a pizza. I'm sorry. All right. What do we say? I'm ready. All right. Be, Be kind, kind and, and courteous to others. others. All right. Arms down. That's right. Mm -hmm. We're going to do a low block. Oh, low blocks are fun. Awesome. Oh, are you ready? Ready. All right. Defend, Defend what is right. right. Thank you so much for helping us. Okay. Arms down. Oh, hands together. Okay. That's right. Okay, we're going to show, show love to my, my family, family, my country, and my God. Oh, fold, fold our hands. Oh, our arms. Yes, yes. There we go. Thank you. Okay, got it. And we go up like this. Oh, and we say victory. Okay, oh, bring them back. All right. I'll put them like this. Okay, and we say what? Oh, humility. humility. Awesome. Oh, we're going to bring our hands back together. We're making a, we get to make a big heart. Big heart. Awesome. Ready? All right. Oh, and we say courtesy. Okay. Courtesy. And then we, oh, we bow. We bow. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Thank you so Great much job, for guys. helping us with that. Fantastic job. Give yourself a high five. We're going to give you an air high five. Job. All right, now I want everybody to bow, um, give 
down on one knee or bow your head. Uh, we'll go to prayer. Uh, so dear Lord, thank you for um, all that we do have, providing our necessities. Uh, thank you for uh, sending all your healing power um, to those battling illness, uh, recovering from surgery and injury. Um, I thank you for helping us have a servant heart to be able to help one another. Um, that's always good to do. Uh, and thank you for um, just helping us be together and grow as a family, um, whether it's you know through our school, uh, connecting with the, the students for our online training and um, maybe some private classes, um, but also at home, um, getting closer together to our loved ones. Thank you again for all you do. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. All right, everybody up. Yes, ma'am. And come to touch us. Yes, ma'am. And bow. Woo! That was super intense. Thank you so much for doing your very best. So what are our warm-ups? Well, our warm-ups today are going to be balloon keep-up. Balloon keep-up? And touch something. Woo! cooperation skill on your peripheral vision making sure you're not bumping into anyone else or anything okay we want to make sure we're playing it safe so um, if you do have a balloon we're going to try to keep it keep it bouncing okay we don't want it to hit the ground we don't want it to hit the ceiling and we don't want it to go way away now what happens if they don't have a lot of space in them inside well that's why we were saying if you don't and you just have a regular ball can just play a little game. It doesn't take a whole lot of space to play a little game of, of catch like this, just tossing it gently to and fro. Because this one you wouldn't want to try to keep up in the air. We'd probably end up knocking each other out. Yes. But could outside be an option? Outside is definitely an option. If it is a beautiful day outside, I say go outside and play some play some ball. Okay? So we are going to toss up this balloon and just show you a little bit of balloon keep up. Okay? So first you want to just toss it up in the air and then Oops! Oh, don't this lands at the ceiling! Don't hit the ceiling! Don't want to hit the lights. Oops! Oh. And this is a fun game. It works on also your hand-eye coordination too. It sure does. working on your listening skills, impulse control, because you have to listen to what you're supposed to touch, what um, also character, characteristics of objects, long, short, uh, bumpy, smooth, the colors of things, um, the shapes of things. You can just go crazy with this. You can use whatever you find around your house. Here, we have a couple things that we're going to use, just to give you an example, okay? I have Mr. Happy Yellow Fuzzy Ball. I'm just going to put him right there. I've also got Pink Pool Noodle. Purple, kind of rough. It's also kind of smooth, I guess, I don't know, depending. Purple Ball. Little bumpy. Little bumpy. Uh, let's see, we've already got something kind of short. How about this guy? This guy is super long red belt. He's like the 
longest belt I've ever seen. <laughs> okay. And, you know, you can have multiple things. Like, you know, you don't have to just have one fuzzy thing. Let them have a couple options. So, okay. With this, I could say, Miss Williams, will you touch something round? Touch something that's in the shape of a circle. Something round. Something round? Mm -hmm. In a circle. Mm -hmm. Is it this one? It, no, it's kind of long. I thought it was round. This one, this one's round, isn't it? No! So what's round? Is that kind of round or is that more yeah, not fully round? What, this one? I should touch this one? Awesome. Thank you so much. That is that is round. Do you know what color that is? Because it's my favorite color. That's right, purple. Good job. Right? Miss Williams, you want to ask me one? So, Mrs. Stewart, I want you to touch something very long. Very long. You know this one. Let's see. I know the balls aren't long. So I've got this one or this one. This one is very long. The very long karate belt? I think so. so I touched the very long karate belt. Excellent. Okay. Um, let's see. Miss Williams, touch something furry. Something furry? Is this furry? Does that look furry? Maybe not. Is this furry? No, it's, it's kind of bumpy, I guess. That's okay. So you'll get it. This is kind of fuzzy, isn't it? The furry? No, it's for fabric. So one of these? One of these? Okay. Can I touch both? Sure. There we go. Those are fuzzy, aren't they? All right. Thank you for your help. All right, give me one more, Miss Williams. All right, so I am gonna go with something that's kind of not super long, but it's it's longer. It's not round. It's not round, Ooh. and it's kind of kind of pink. Ooh. So now we're looking for a color, and we're looking for something not super long necessarily round, but pink. And I'm looking at my colors. That's going to be my clue. Which one? Show me. That one? That one! Yay! Awesome! Good so, job! Thanks for helping us at home. Yeah! It certainly, so. certainly helped us get through our Touch Something warm-up. Thank you so much. Have fun being creative at home with your own Touch Something warm-up. Anxious to see what you are able to use, um, what you have at home. Um, it might be different than what we have here. All right, so what, what do we need to do now? Well, what do we do when we're done playing a game or doing our warm-up? That's right, we clean up. Clean up. We clean up. So we're going to pick up our Touch Somethings here. going to work on our sidekick. Ooh, a sidekick. Right, and this one is fun. So for our sidekick, we are going to get into our guard stance. So first let's come to attention. Yes, ma'am. Good. And what we're going to do is we're going to take a leg, we're going to bring it back behind us. Okay? And our feet are going to be pointing a different way. Okay? But our hands are going to be up. So we're going to be facing this way, but our feet are pointing this way. And that's because a side kick is going to use your foot, just part of your foot. And it's going to come at you kind of sideways. Okay? So for our side kick, there's actually a couple parts. Okay? We talked about the four parts to a kick in class. It's probably been a couple months now. So if you missed that, we're going to go over that. So there are four parts to a good kick. And when you do them really fast, it's hard to tell that there are. 
but when you do them slow, it's very easy. So if you need to hold on to like a wall or to a couch or something that's near you when we do it slow, that's okay. Okay, so our first part of the kick, our side kick, is going to be our chamber. And our chamber is just when we bring our leg up. Okay, our second part is going to be to kick out. So this is step one, chamber. Step two is kick out. Step three is free chamber. And step four is set it down. Okay, so those are the parts of a kick. Now when you come out on step two, which is the actual kick, that's when you would kia. That's also when you want to make sure that your foot is pointed to the side. Okay, I'm going to have to actually switch because that's my bad hip. Okay, <laughs> sorry. Okay, so I'm going to do it this way because otherwise that hip's going to give up. Okay, so ready? Let's do, do our four count. We're going to count it. We're going to do it a little bit faster than we have been. Okay, ready? One, two, three, four. Good job, guys. So let's do that again. One, two, three, four. That's I'm working my balance today. So if you're balanced, if you're still working on your balance, notice how I went off balance. It's okay. It is okay. It's okay. It happens. Um, so and for the side kick, it does work your balance a little bit more. So if you need to hold a chair, hold on to the wall or something, that's okay. Definitely okay. So remember for our side kick, our four parts. Chamber, kick, re-chamber and then down. Exactly. Okay, so let's practice our side kick and then we'll switch. So I could probably do it a little bit faster. <laughs> All right, ready? So we're gonna do our side kick. You ready? Go. Yeah. Oops, I forgot our heel. <laughs> All right, let's do that side again. You ready? Go. Great job, guys. One more time with that one. Ready? Go. Good. Now we're going to switch. So that just means your other foot is going to be in front. And this kick is a front leg kick. That means that you're going to kick with your front leg. And you're going to be balancing on your back leg. Okay? So here we go with our front leg. Ready? Side kick. Whoa. I may need to hold on to something. But it's okay. Yeah. Because we're still working on balance, aren't we? We are. And you might find that you have one side that balances better than the other. Or that kicks higher than the other, or <laughs> that, is, that is totally normal. Okay, we're gonna do it a couple more times with this leg, and then we're gonna move to our life skill. So you ready? Side kick. Good job. One more time. Okay, side kick. Good job. Okay, give yourselves a hand. That's a tough one. So, remember there are four parts to a kick, okay? The chamber, the kick, the re-chamber, and then when you land it. So, um, just keep working that side kick. And um, so we're gonna do our life skills. Let me just refresh here. Tacky in bed lining up. Lining up, okay. So, if you've been to a class, you know that we all line up on a white line. And we have a white line right here. This is our big mat white line. It goes all the way. So when we line up on the big mat, it's just like when we line up in your class. So we want to line up by height. So who is taller? Me or Miss Williams? Yeah, you're right. I'm taller. So who would go first in our line? Me or Miss Williams? Me? You're right. So we need to switch. So Ms. Williams would be first, and I would be next in line. Okay? Makes sense. Well, now we would have our toes on the line. And we would be standing at attention. And then what happens? After everyone is on our line and we're standing at attention, what do we do? That's right, we get our color. Okay? So on the big map, we don't have colors. We have numbers. But... So, we would get our color or our number, and so Miss Williams would be ahead of me like the whole time. So, we will, let's see, Miss Williams, you be on number seven, 
and I'll be on number eight. So after you get your number or your color, then what do we do? I'll give you a hint. It has to do with your hands. You're right, we clap it up. How do we clap it up? Is that right? No. No. <laughs> no. How is it? Oh, that's right. I run in front of Miss Williams to give her my number while I push her out of the way, right? No? Oh, that's right. I have to be behind her the whole time. Okay? So then we say, Miss Williams, go! And she runs to the end. And then she stops on her number. And then we say, don't mind? Yes, ma'am. And that is how we line it up. Thanks, guys, for helping us. Now here is something, if you want to practice it at home, you can get the members of your family, if they'll let you, they'll let you, and line them up by height. Take a picture of your family lined up by height. Yeah? Let's see, you'll see all of your lines. Okay? Great job, guys. Excellent. Thank okay. you. Thank you for helping. All right, and our next life skill is happy, or sad and it's pretty easy to tell I think when someone is happy or sad like we sang the song a couple weeks ago about emotions if you're happy and you know it if you're sad and you know it if you're angry but um, what are some things that make you happy yeah yeah what about you Miss Williams what's something that makes you happy Karate. Karate? Nice. Karate makes me happy too. Um, what are some things that make you sad? Yeah? What about you? I don't know, being away from family. Being away from family? Definitely. So how does it feel? Does it feel better to be happy or to be sad? Definitely right. Definitely feels better to be happy than to be sad. So, um, we are talking about those emotions and how they make you feel and how you can show that you're happy and how you can express that you're happy. And it's great to be happy and it's great to show that you're happy with your smile or jumping up and down or dancing, but is it safe to jump up and down and have like a dance party because you're so happy while you're driving down the road in your car? Yeah, it's not. You're right. So it's good to be happy when you're in the car, but you definitely, it can, it can be unsafe if you're doing that. So you want to definitely keep it, keep it dialed into to the situation. And also, is it okay to hit people or kick people because you're sad and you want to be left alone? No, it's not. It's okay to say, I'm sad, I want to be alone. But it's not okay to hurt people because you're sad. So we need to be able to express those in a good way. And that's what we're talking about with your happy face, with your sad face, with things you show, do to show that you're happy or you're sad. Okay? So what about using empathy, which means how you make somebody else feel. So if you're happy or sad, um, how to express that, but what happens if you make somebody else sad? Or if you make somebody else happy, how do you think they're gonna feel? Well, if you make somebody else happy, they're gonna feel, yeah. So, it, so what are some ways that you can make somebody else happy? Like maybe your friend. Give them a hug. Cheer a toy. Yeah, draw them a picture. Yeah, great ideas. Yeah, give them a phone call. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and if you make somebody sad, you should do what? Definitely, tell them that you're sorry. Yes. Because I know you didn't mean to make them sad. Yeah, so if, you know, if somebody's playing with a toy, don't yank it from them. That's gonna make them sad. And that, that's not what we wanna do. We wanna make sure that we keep our friends happy 
um, and safe, and they, they might get angry too, um, not just sad. Um, That's right. You know, and also, um, if you do happen to say something that's not so nice and make them sad, then it's always important to make sure that you tell them that you're sorry and mean it when you say you're sorry. Because it's not nice to call people names uh, and make them feel sad. Yeah. So, anything else for this week? Um, no, ma'am. Just work on those sidekicks. Work on your four parts to your sidekick. Uh, work on getting out there and getting your exercise. Work on making people happy. And until I see you guys again, I miss you. And I hope I see you soon. Yeah, we miss, we miss everybody, but yes, little leaders, we certainly have missed uh, seeing you come into class. So if there's nothing else, then everybody needs to come to attention. Yes, ma'am. Oh, good job.